Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a nail DIY video. Okay, so if you wanna see my nails go from this up to this, then make sure you keep watching, okay? Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below. Okay, so we're starting off with cutting down my nails. My nails grew out under my last set, kinda long and just unruly, so you know, gotta clip them down with some nail clippers, so that's what I'm doing here. I do have like a little cut on um, my pinky nail, if you could see, like it's under the nail bed. It doesn't hurt or anything, which is why I'm still able to do my nails, but I just wanted to point that out, because you guys are probably gonna notice it and have questions, so that's what that is, but. I'm just cutting my nails down. This is what they look like. And then I'm gonna go in with my e-file nail bit that I got off of Amazon. Um, this was 20 bucks. And I have it on the lowest setting, on the lowest speed. And I'm just gently buffing the natural shine off of my nail. And I'm also making sure to like just run it along my cuticle area, but not like you know, too much in one place because I don't want to cut myself or anything. But I just want to make sure that I have a really long lasting set. And I was reading you guys' comments under my last video where I was basically saying that I had, you know, lifting. And a lot of you guys said that if you really clean up the cuticles, then you shouldn't have any lifting, especially with the soft gel nails from a prey. So that's what I went ahead and I did this time around. And then I pushed my cuticles back and that's what my nails look like. All prepped and ready to go. The soft gel X nail extensions. These are the sculpted square, extra, extra long. The Sean Legend collaboration with a prey. These are the ones that um, I purchased recently and I absolutely love them. I've used them a couple of times now and the shape of them is just so 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 pretty It's really like that that shape that you see everyone having on Instagram But a lot of those sets are obviously made with acrylic, you know acrylic powder, but I'm not an acrylic girl I'm a poly gel girl. I'm a gel X nail extension kind of girl, so I picked out all of my sizes and then I cut the nails down before attaching them to my nail because I am going to be filling them with poly gel so I'm not going to be able to cut them afterwards. Um, and then I'm taking that same nail bit but a different one. It's a metal one and it's you know more tapered so that it can actually fit on the inside of the nail and I'm buffing the inside of the nail. This is very necessary for the nail to adhere to your natural nail and to the poly gel. You gotta do it, it's on the box. That's what it says, you gotta do it, okay? So <laughs> I did that with all of the soft gel nails and I made sure to only go up to as far as where my natural nail would end underneath. And then the nat and then the poly gel that I'm using today is from McCart. The shade is a daydream. Everything that I'm using, literally every single item will be linked down below in the description box. Um, just for anyone wondering, I'm using the McCart uh, poly gel nail slip um, and then it also have their brush as well I do have a coupon code with McCart if you use Jasmine at checkout you'll save 15% off your entire purchase so if there's any McCart goodies that you want to purchase then make sure you definitely use my code so that you can save some money girl hello um, but I'm just going in and I'm filling each nail with my poly gel. It takes about two beads to fully fill it. So the first one is kind of just like a flat layer throughout the entire nail from the tip to the cuticle area. And then the second bead is I keep it more towards the cuticle area. Um, that way it can really fill the, in, the apex of the nail on the inside so that it's, you know, because it's a sculpted nail, it has a very high apex, so I don't want it there to be like any air bubbles or anything in there. So it usually takes about two, it, it really does take like two beads to fully, um, you know, fill my nail in. But you guys can just watch me do this part. Honestly, this part is really easy. It's just a little time consuming, but I've noticed that if I do this before doing anything to my nails, it kind of moves quicker. Like my nails, you know, I don't have any of the foundation on yet or anything like that so I can kind of just work as quickly as possible um, and fill all these nails in I am using the slip solution that comes with the McCart poly gel when you purchase like the little sets um, it is really good if you don't have the slip solution you can use alcohol I've done that before too and then I'm going in with my gelish pH bond this is a dehydrator 
the gelish kit that I use in every single video that I say this in every single video <laughs> and then I'm going in with the Apre acid free um, primer I like this one because it doesn't like burn or anything like other primers that I've used and then I'm going in with the foundation like the base from gelish um, and I'm just doing a single layer of this on my nails making sure that you know it's like evenly coated i'm not applying too much where it's like spilling onto my cuticle or anything just a single layer and i apply that to all figures and then i'm just going to cure for 60 seconds under my uv lamp okay so once that's done this is what the nails is looking like oh and then i'm going to go in with my build in nails and I'm just gonna apply them like I'm literally just going to apply them you want to apply pressure at the cuticle and push down and then cure for 60 seconds so that it stays in place and boom that's one nail done hello we on to the next one period it's moving so quickly I'm just like <laughs> I love it I've honestly gotten so good at this you remember my first tutorial it was a hot ass mess but now I know what to do <laughs> So I applied all of the nails and then I'm going in with my McCart nail file and I'm just um, really like sculpting the nails a little bit more. It's not necessary because these nails do come pre-sculpted, but I just wanted really sharp, clean lines. And because I did cut them down, I definitely have to make sure that the top part is at least straight. So I just went in and I like gently buffed the entire nail. I kind of like buffed the sides lightly and then I gave myself a nice square tip because I like sharp, square, straight lines. So I'm just doing that on every single nail. And if you guys can see the way that I'm holding the nail file, I'm like holding it at an angle along the side so that it lines up with my cuticle. And then I went in with a nail file from Kiss that's a bit, um, it's a bit straighter. Like it's literally a rectangular nail file. And I feel like this really just gave me that super sharp square look that I was going for. So once all of my nails are filed and buffed, on one hand, I gotta go ahead and do the other, of course. So boom, we came back, everything's filed, everything's buffed, looking good to go. I saw this set on Instagram. This is, um, the nail artist is Nails by Davo, I think that's how you say. And she did Carla J's nails. And then I seen Sean Legend do Kylie's nails. And I was like, ooh, so this style is very popular right now. I want to do it, but I want to do it in these colors. So first I picked up three colors. I had a white, a dark brown, and then like a tan color. But I ended up just using the dark brown and the white. As you guys will see, I didn't need the tan because I was doing an ombre. Like the first set of nails that I showed you. But, um... I, I thought that I was gonna have to use three colors, but I really was able to get it done with two. So I'm using the white um, that I purchased off of Amazon, and then this dark brown. I did like a half and half, and then I took my McCart brush, the same poly gel brush that I was using to fill the inside of the nail. I just cleaned it off with some alcohol, and then I went in and I like faded the two colors together to make an ombre. You know, I never, I've never done this before. Like, literally, this is the first time I've ever attempted this, but it came out so good. Like, I did have to do two coats for everything just so that it was fully opaque the way that I wanted it to. So I just went ahead and I did the same exact thing again. So I just layered the white back on the white side and I did it halfway down the nail, like split down the middle. And then I went in with the brown. And I did the brown, and it was okay if the brown overlapped the white because, again, it would be ombre. And then I just took my clean poly gel brush, and I was just, you know, blending the two. And it just, it looks so good. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so, so pleased. Like, this looks amazing. Honestly, hello, I'm here for it, period. So I cured for 60 seconds. And that's what the ring finger is looking like. I know I usually start off on the pinky, but I knew that I wanted to do my ring finger and my index finger like full, like the entire nail as an ombre. And then, um, oh, and also my thumb. And then my middle finger and my pinky would be like a French, but I wanted to, to attempt the full nails first before I went and did the French, which I'm gonna do next. This is honestly just so aesthetically pleasing to watch, like, Ugh, look at the ombre, yeah, 
yes i literally i didn't even watch a tutorial on how to do this i really was just like i saw the photo and i was like i think i can do this like i think i can do it and i can do it with different colors so i did it and it came out good okay so we're curing that finger 60 seconds you like the little edit you know i'm trying to i'm trying to make it easy for you guys to follow along and like understand what's happening like let me know do you like it <laughs> um so i'm going in with the second layer same thing same thing you know it's you know it's pretty much self-explanatory at this point or you guys can just watch so i'm gonna shut up and let you watch me finesse my nails You guys, I'm really watching this back and I'm just like, you can't tell me I'm not a nail tech. Like, I'm a whole nail tech out here. Cause what? Self-taught too? What? <laughs> That's crazy. That's so crazy. Cause like, damn, the talent really jumped out though. You too can, can be like this. I promise you, like, it's just practice. You literally just have to practice. People always ask me like, how do you do your non-dominant hand? Like, how have you gotten so good? Like, I'm struggling so much. Listen, I, I used to struggle too. My nails did not always look like this. They did not always look like this. They've only recently started to look really good. Like, I feel like within the past couple of months, but I've been doing my nails for years. Like I've literally been doing my nails since I was in middle school, but more so like, sets at least like this i've been doing for probably like five years now <laughs> i've been attempting to do my own nails i've always had like little you know diy nail kits and stuff like that whether it be acrylic or poly gel or or builder gel or whatever like you guys have seen all of the different types of nail mediums that i've used on my channel so i've now just gotten to the point where i've found something that really works for me that i really love the results of and it's this these soft gel nails like they're really the go-to like they are really the goat i love it and the poly gel poly gel was just always have my heart so I'm taking, this is a paintbrush that I found um, in my apartment because I have paintbrushes, but it's just a little cheap paintbrush. This paintbrush is probably like $3, honestly, from Michaels. Um, and I took that white and I'm, I'm basically drawing out the lines for a French because I want the ombre French. So I need to make sure that my lines are super crisp. So I had to go in with the paintbrush first and then I'm filling in with the actual nail brush and then I'm gonna do the same fade. This was obviously a little bit harder, um, but definitely still doable. I feel like if you're comfortable enough with doing a regular French, then the ombre isn't too bad. Um, but you just wanna make sure you don't mess up that smile line that you created. like. Okay, after curing for 60 seconds, I'm gonna go in with the second layer. And this time around, I'm not gonna use a small brush because I kind of already have that line there. So I'm just gonna fill in up until that line and then do the same on the other side. I'm supposed to do the white first and then the brown so I don't get brown on my white brush, but I don't know why I did the brown first. I think I was just like very uh, excited <laughs> to use the brown. These colors are so, so, so pretty. The brown came in a set of six, um, so it, it isn't individually sold, but the other five colors that it comes with are so pretty, and I think the whole set was only $15, so it's definitely worth it if these are the kinds of nude brown colors that you like. Okay, so I did those three, and now it's time to go in and do the pinky, and we're gonna do the same thing. Like I said, I'm doing the French, the deep French on my pinky and on my middle finger, and then my ring and my index were full, and so was my thumb. <laughs>
Okay, so now for, I think this is my favorite part of the entire process was the dotting. As tedious as it was, it was very fun. Like, um, I used a little, what is this, like a sewing needle pin and I just stuck it into my cuticle pusher. You can stick it into the, the end of a, a pencil, like an eraser. I used to do that like years ago when I used to do little dotted designs on my nails, but you can stick it on the end of a pencil, like literally just stick it into anything, anything soft. Um, and I just dipped it into my gel polish and I'm doing the dots. So the dots are starting off big to small, big at the tip of the nail and then going upwards, It's they're getting smaller as they go up. And then you're also doing opposite colors. So on the brown side of the ombre, you're doing the white dots. And then once you get to the white side, you're doing the brown dots. So it's like a reverse ombre or a reverse gradient, whatever you wanna call it. I don't even know what to call these nails or this design, but I absolutely loved. And then I just wanted to show you guys that like I was messing up, like this was not easy to do, but um, the great thing about gel obviously is it doesn't set until you cure it. So you can go in and, and wipe something off if you don't like it. You can fix it if you want to, you don't have to leave it. So when I didn't like a dot, the way that it was placed or the size of it or whatever, I would literally go in with my same McCart poly gel brush and I would dip it in some alcohol or the slip solution and I would just wipe off the gel um, until I was satisfied with the way it looked and then I would cure it in place so that it did not move or budge. And that's the first nail done and then I'm gonna go in and do the same thing on the French. The French is obviously a half, you know, half nail or whatever so it's not gonna require as many dots. But I didn't like that dot so I went in and I did more or I fixed it. Um, you want to apply very light pressure as you're dotting. If you apply too much pressure, then you'll put down too much of the, the gel, obviously, and then it'll start to look wonky. My dots weren't perfect, though. Like, I don't think perfection is really what you should aim for with this. I think you should really just, you know, have fun with it. It's going to come out cute. It's not going to be perfect. They're not going to be identical from finger to finger or from hand to hand, but it's going to be really cute. I think the design is just very like funky and fun, so you're not, it's, it doesn't really matter if it's super perfect, you know? Anytime I liked the design, I literally would cure it because I, I, I didn't want it to mess up. Like, I didn't want something to touch my hand or me rub my finger on something by accident. So like, as soon as I was like, ooh, this looks good, I made sure to cure for 60 seconds to just set that in place, you know? So that's what all four fingers is looking like and my thumb, five fingers, or I wasn't sure if I did my thumb yet. <laughs> Um, but that's all the fingers. Okay, we gotta go ahead and do the other hand and we'll be right back. Oh, period. Both hands is done. Now we're up to my favorite part. We gotta put that clear top coat, that crystal clear top coat from Jellish. Um, I do a single layer of this on all of my nails and this just makes everything come to life. Uh, this top coat is so good. It stays shiny the entire three weeks that my nails stay on. This set took me four hours to do from start to finish. It's four hours. I don't feel like that's a long time. That's like two hours for each hand um, because I ended up you know, splitting it. I did one hand and then I did the other. I cured for 60 seconds and that's what my nails was looking like. Oh my God, they look so good. Ah! I was so, 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 so happy. I made sure to wash my hands and then I put some alcohol on a little cotton pad and I cleaned off like the sticky residue that's on your nails after you cure the top coat. And then I went in with the Nourish Cuticle Oil from Jellish and I just applied that to my cuticles. 
and honey, baby, sweetie, things I did, oh, that, period, <laughs> no, it looks so good, I'm so happy, okay, mm. and it's the transition for me, honestly. These are the completed nails. I'm absolutely in love with this set. I feel like based off of the two inspo photos that I showed you guys, it came out very accurate. I think these are so cute. They're so on trend. I'm absolutely in love. I love the colors that I use. If you guys enjoyed today's video, then make sure you give it a big thumbs up down below. Don't forget to click that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications. We have new videos three times a week. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching this video for commenting for liking for sharing don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you at my next upload bye